Let's begin in a comfortable seat today. Some of us will cross the ankles. Some of us will extend the legs forward. And let's rest the hands either on the knees or the thighs. Close your eyes if you haven't already. And as your eyelids lower down, begin to feel your breath. Right now, we are not controlling, not manipulating the breath in any way. We are simply noticing its natural rhythm. And you might discover that there are some irregularities about your breathing. You might notice that the breath is choppy or interrupted. You might notice that from time to time you're holding the breath. So we'll start the practice today with what is called circular breathing. Circular breathing is a wonderful way to slow down the stream of thoughts, to quiet the nervous system, to balance the mind and the nervous system. So first, quality of circular breathing is it's quiet and yet there is a little sound. It's audible. So let's begin by imagining that we are trying to fog out the mirror. So inhale in through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. Continue breathing this way. And maybe next time you exhale, halfway through your exhalation, you close your mouth while still maintaining this HA sound at the back of the throat. And perhaps next time you exhale, you exhale with the mouth closed, but that sound, that HA sound remains as you breathe out. And maybe during the next inhalation, you continue that gentle narrowing of the back of the throat and the sound follows you through the inhalation. This breath is also referred to as victorious breath or ujjayi breath. So the breath is quiet and yet you can hear it, it's audible. The second quality of our circular breath uh, actually comes from the first one. As you narrow down the passage of the air at the back of the throat, the breath slows down. So the breath is quiet, the breath is slow. And as the breath slows down, it also uh, smooths out. So if there are any wrinkles on the surface of your inhalation, surface of your exhalation, begin to smooth those wrinkles out. The breath is velvety smooth. And the third quality of the circular breath is that the breath is continuous. So next time, when your exhalation is just about to turn to your inhalation, relax, allow that transition happen naturally. And when your in-breath is just to turn into your out-breath, allow that switch to happen organically. So one breath seamlessly leads to another one. So three qualities of the circular breath. The breath is quiet, yet audible. The breath is velvety smooth and the breath is continuous. Let's rest uh, the mind on these qualities of the breath for the next five inhalations and five exhalations. Through being aware of the breath, 
Begin to arrive with your body, noticing its current state of being. The breath is quiet. The breath is smooth. The breath is continuous. And now let's take this circular breathing and add movement to it. So rest your hands on your knees or thighs, and as you exhale, round your spine, lean back, guide your chin in. And as you inhale, expand your chest, lean forward, hug your spine with your shoulder blades. Chin is moving away from the sternum. So we are adding a fourth element to the equation of the circular breath, and that is the movement. And so just as the postcard or a ladder fits into an envelope quite nicely, quite snugly, the breath embraces the movement. The movement fits into the breath. So throughout the whole practice today, maybe one of your intentions is to connect. The movement to the breath is to allow the breath to embrace the movement. And since we are breathing mindfully and we are breathing now, if the movement is linked to the breath, then the movement unfolds from the present moment. The movement becomes mindful. And we are less likely to injure ourselves in the practice. Let's find two more pulsations back and forward. And then back again. Now, next time you inhale, come back to your neutral spine and extend your arms over the head. And as you exhale, lower your right hand by your right side, extend the left arm up and over the head, root down through your left sitting bone. And begin to turn your gaze towards the ceiling from underneath your left upper arm. Inhale here. And as you exhale, lower your left hand towards your right knee and round your spine, guide your chin towards your sternum. Inhale, expand your chest, rotate your left shoulder out, take a peek to the ceiling. Exhale, hand to your right knee, round your spine, guide your chin in. Once again, inhale, rotation of the shoulder out. Exhale, hand to knee, round your spine, very similar to cat pose. Now let's walk the hands to the right side and then all the way in front of your legs. Pause here for a few moments. Maybe form two little tents with your hands, with your fingers, swaying the torso side to side, side to side, as we root down through the sitting bones. Next time you're shifting your weight to the left side, walk your hands over to the left, plant your left palm on the floor, rotate your right shoulder out, take a peek to the ceiling from underneath your right upper arm. Letting these first few stretches be a gentle introduction to the sides of the body. Inhale here, rotate your right shoulder out a little bit more. Exhale, right hand finds your left knee around your spine, lean back with your torso. Few more, inhale, rotate the shoulder out, look up. Exhale, hand to knee around your spine, chin moves in. Couple more, inhale, opening the wing of the right arm. Exhale, lowering the hand down. One more time, breathing in and breathing out. Now let's walk the hands forward again, forming those two little tents with the hands. And let your head be heavy, lean side to side, side to side, rooting down through the sitting bones. So let's take this movement a little bit further into a gentle back bend. Walk your hands over to the right side and then bring your right hand behind your back. Fingertips are facing the wall behind you. Press your knees down, lift the hips, extend the left arm up and back. And then return your hips down, travel across your mat over to the left side. Now your left hand finds the floor behind you. Lift the hips, rotate your right shoulder out. Exhale, switching sides. If you need to switch the cross of your ankles at any point, do so. 
If you need to extend your legs forward, this might be a great variation as well. So let's switch sides one more time. Pressing down with the hand to lift the hips. And once again, leaning over to the other side, pressing down to lift up. Great. Slowly, slowly find your way onto your hands and knees whenever you're ready. And as you move into your tabletop position, let's have the wrists below the shoulders, knees below the hips, but then turn your fingertips out to the sides. Move your hips side to side, side to side, swing your torso to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. And we'll be working with variations of side plank today, so it's important for us to warm up the wrists. Come back to center. Now turn your fingertips forward again, but then place the top of your left hand on the floor so your palm is facing up. Curl your toes under, lean back with your pelvis as you extend the front side of your left wrist. Fan out your fingers wide. Find another breath here. And then return your left palm on the floor, palm is facing down, and turn your right palm up. Fingertips are facing your right knee. Guide your hips back as far as your right wrist allows you to go. Fan out your fingers wide. Great, return your right hand on your mat and once again, turn your fingers out to the sides. This time, let's circle the hips. And of course, the front side of the body, the torso, the chest are moving in a circle as well. So approaching different angles, different areas of the palms, of the wrists. Now switch the direction of the movement and see if you can continue pressing down through the roots of all 10 fingers, especially your index fingers, especially your thumbs. Great, come back to center, turn your fingertips forward, hands are below the shoulders, curl your toes under, find cow pose, and as you exhale, find your first downward facing dog of the practice. Bend your knees one at a time, say some yeses, say some noes, with the head, with the chin. And then find stillness in your downward facing dog. Inhale, lower your knees to the ground, lift the chin, lift the tail. And as you exhale, returning to downward facing dog once again. One more time. Inhale, moving to cow pose, lifting the chin, lifting the tail. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Let's add a few more elements to our somewhat simple pulsation. Lower your knees to the ground, lift the chin, lift the tail. Now pivot on your right knee, move your right foot out to the side, step your left foot back. Rotate your left shoulder out. Exhale, return your left hand to the floor, curl your left toes under, lift your right leg back and up. Return your right toes to the floor, cow pose as you inhale. And as you exhale, move your left foot out to the side, step your right foot back, rotate your right shoulder out. Exhale, right hand finds the ground, curl your right toes under, send your left leg back and up. Exhale, left toes find the floor. And as you breathe in, knees find the ground. Exhale, find your downward facing dog. Pause here, say some yeses, say some noes with the head, with the chin. Paddle out your feet a few more times. So we'll keep adding to our still quite simple sequence. Next time you inhale, lower your knees to the ground, lift the chin, lift the tail. Exhale, right foot out, left foot back. Rotate your left shoulder out. This time, lift your left leg up, bend your knee, and maybe search for your foot or your ankle with the left hand. Press your foot back. Inhale here. And as you exhale, return your left toes, left hand down. Inhale, right leg reaches back and up. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. 
Inhale, extend your right leg to the degree that your hamstrings agree with. Lift the chest a little higher. And as you exhale, lower your upper body towards your right thigh. Inhale, bend your right knee. Come up with your torso, extend your arms over the head. And as you exhale, guide your arms out, around and down. Inhale, reach them forward and up. And as you exhale, frame your right foot with your hands. Turn all 10 toes to the right side. Lift your right arm towards the ceiling on the inhalation. And let's pause here for three breaths. So all 10 toes are facing the right side of the room. Fan out your left fingers wide, press down through the roots of the index fingers. And as you exhale next time, return your right hand down, lift your left heel, and slide your right foot back and up. Return your right toes to the floor, and on your next inhalation, lower your knees to the ground. Lift your chin, lift your tail. Exhale, move your left foot out. Step your right foot back. Rotate your right shoulder out. Either stay here or lift the right leg up. Bend your knee. Search for your foot or your ankle. And if the connection happens, press your foot back. Inhale here. And as you exhale, return your right toes, right hand down, curl your right toes under, even out your pelvis to the front side of the mat, lift your left leg up. Exhale, slowly step your foot forward between your hands. As you breathe in, press your left foot forward and down, extend your left leg, lift the chest a little higher, and as you exhale, descend, lower your belly to your thigh. Inhale, lift the chest halfway, bend your left knee, press your feet down, extend your arms over the head. Inhale here, exhale, guide your arms out, around and down. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, frame your left foot with your hands and turn all 10 toes to the left side of the room. Inhale, extend the left arm towards the ceiling, and let's stay here for three breaths. If you look down at your right hand, can you press down through the root of the right index finger? Find another inhalation, maybe lift the hips a little higher. And as you exhale, lower your left hand down, right heel rises, extend your left leg back and up. Lower your toes to the floor. Inhale, knees, find the ground, lift the chin, lift the tail. And as you exhale, find child's pose for a couple of breaths. So let's set an intention for the practice to maintain our circular breath regardless of what shapes the body is taking. So the breath comes first. So let's continue adding on to already familiar sequence. As you inhale, find cow pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, find cow pose. Exhale, right foot moves out. Step your left foot back. Inhale, rotate your left shoulder out. Stay here or lift your left leg. Bend your knee. Search for your foot or your ankle and press your foot back. Return your left foot to the floor, left hand finds the ground, curl your left toes under, draw the right leg back and up. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. Inhale, extend your right leg, maybe come up onto your fingertips. Keep your pelvis somewhat level to the front side of the mat. Exhale, release. Inhale, bend your right knee, press both feet down, extend your arms over the head, and now find your left wrist with your right hand. Pull up and over to your right side. Turn your gaze to the ceiling from underneath your left upper arm. Maybe connect your left thumb and pointing fingers, and if you would like to flirt with balance, pulse up and down, up and down, moving from your left foot. 
Uh -huh. On your next up pulse, pause, come up with your torso. Exhale, guide your arms out, around and down. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, frame your left foot with, right foot with your hands and turn all 10 toes to the right side. Just like we did before, extend the right arm towards the ceiling and either stay here for three breaths or look back at your left foot and step your right toes behind your left leg, turning the pelvis, turning the belly to the ceiling. Find another breath here and then slowly return your right hand down. Let's re-extend the right leg up. And as you exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. This time, left heel moves in, left heel moves down. Warrior two. Pause in warrior two for about three breaths. Looking over the right fingertips, softening the shoulders, unclenching the teeth. Can you find your circular breath here? On your next inhalation, reverse your warrior. Keep your right knee bent. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Keep your warrior two legs. Bring your hands to the floor facing the long side of the mat. Walk your hands forward. The right knee really wants to move forward and in. Can you push it back? So it remains above your heel. Find another breath here. And then walk your hands towards your mat, extend your right leg, turn your toes out so they're further apart than your heels and bend your left knee. Inhale, center, exhale, right knee bends. Inhale, center, exhale, left knee bends. You can connect your hands with the heart. And then travel over to your right side, bend your right knee, frame your right foot with your hands and extend your right leg back and up. This time as you lower your right foot down, find plank pose and from your toes, lean back and forth, back and forth. Next time you're shifting your weight forward, pause, knees lifted or down, hug your side ribs with your elbows, chaturanga. Back bend of your choice as you inhale, downward facing dog, as you breathe out, inhale, lower your knees to the ground, lift the chin, lift the tail, exhale, left foot out, right foot back, rotate your right shoulder out, either stay here or bend your right knee, catch your right foot with your right hand, or maybe it's your ankle that you're holding on to, breathe in, and as you breathe out, return your right foot, right hand to the floor. Extend your left leg back and up. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly step your left foot forward between your hands. Finding our hamstring stretch, push your left foot forward and down. Lift the chest a little higher. And as you exhale, fold forward. Find a halfway lift of the chest. And then bend your left knee, press both feet down, extend the arms over the head. This time, left hand finds your right wrist. Pull up and over to the left side, connecting your right thumb and pointing fingers. And maybe look to the ceiling from underneath your right upper arm, pulse up and down, moving from your right foot. <sighs> Great. On your next up pulse, pause. Come up with your torso, draw the arms out, around and down. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, frame your left foot with your hands and then turn all 10 toes to the left side of the room, lifting the left arm towards the ceiling, staying here. Or turn your gaze towards your right foot and slowly step your left toes behind your right leg. Keep pressing down through the root of your right index finger. Turn your pelvis towards the ceiling. Extend your left arm over the head. Press both feet down. Press your right hand down. And return your left hand. Left toes to the floor. Downward facing dog. 
then switch or uh, extend your left leg back and up once again. Inhale here. Exhale, step your left foot forward between your hands. Right heel finds the floor as you transition to warrior two. Pause here for three breaths. Maybe close your eyes and feel the way the breath is moving your body. Smoothing out the inhalation, slowing down the exhalations. And on your next breath in, reverse your warrior. Left arm is reaching up and back. Left knee remains bent. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Keep your lower body as it is. Walk your hands towards the long side of the mat. Again, the knee wants to move in. Can you gently press it out so the knee remains above your heel? Two more breaths here. Chest is spacious, spine is long. Awesome, extend your left leg and then bend your right knee, sink down by your right side. Inhale, center, exhale, left knee bends. Travel across your mat twice more, once to the right, once to the left. Walk your hands to the front side of the mat, bend your left knee, and then extend your left leg back and up. Now, simultaneously find plank as you lower your left toes down. And from your left, uh, from your feet, from your toes, lean back and forth, back and forth. Next time you're shifting the weight forward, pause. Knees down or lifted, chaturanga. Back bend of your choice. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lower your knees to the ground, lift the chin, lift the tailbone, exhale, child's pose. Our sequences are growing longer and longer, so let's really savor that moment of stillness, that pause. So we'll continue adding things to our sequence. By the end of the practice, you will be very familiar, at least with the first a uh, few aspects of the sequence. Next time you inhale, find cow pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, cow pose, lift the chin, lift the tail. Exhale, right foot out, left foot back. Rotate your left shoulder out, stay here or lift the left leg, bend your knee and press your foot back. Return your left foot to the floor, left hand to the ground. Lift your right leg back, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. Inhale, extend your right leg to the degree that your hamstrings agree with. Lower your chest down, maybe walk your hands back. Bend your right knee, find your high lunge as you inhale. Right hand, left wrist, pull up and over to the right. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arms move out, around and down. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, frame your right foot with your hands, turn all 10 toes to the right. Lift the right arm, stay here, or step your right foot back, or step your right foot on top of the left one, so stacking the legs. Another option here is to lift the right leg up, flexing the foot. Find another breath here, and then return to your downward facing dog with your right leg lifted. Inhale here. And as you exhale, step your right foot forward, left heel moves down, returning to our warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, sink into it a little more. Reverse your warrior as you inhale. Pause here for the exhalation, maybe sink into it a little deeper. Come back to warrior two. Keep your warrior two legs. Walk your hands towards the long side of the mat, keeping the chest spacious, knee above the ankle. 
walk your hands towards your mat, extend your right leg, and then bend your left knee. Inhale, extend both legs, exhale, right knee bends. Travel across your mat twice more, once to the left, once to the right. Now, turn your right toes towards the front side of the mat, walk your right hand forward and slightly out to the side. You can find the block underneath your right hand. We are moving into Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. So in our half moon variation, we can keep the left leg extended or begin to search for your left foot or ankle with the left hand, just like we did in our uh, kneeling variation of half moon pose. Find three more breaths if you would like to flirt with balance. Maybe you bring your right hand to your heart center. Return your right hand down, step your left foot back, come back to warrior two, and as you reverse your warrior, extend your right leg. Inhale, come back up, and as you exhale, tree, kanasana, triangle pose. In this variation, let's extend the left arm over the head, turning the gaze to the ceiling from underneath your left upper arm. And see if you can allow your left shoulder blade kiss your spine. So spiraling the left side of the ribcage towards the ceiling for one more breath. And now look down at your right foot, bend your right knee, frame your right foot with your hands. Heel toe your right foot out to the side so now your hands can be underneath the shoulders. Just like you did in plank pose, lean back and forth, moving from your left toes. Now, when you're shifting your weight forward next time, lower your left knee down, draw your left foot in. So now your left chin is perpendicular to the long side of the mat. Plant your right hand on the floor or a block by your right inner foot. Now let's push the right upper arm into the right inner knee. Now push your right inner knee into your right outer upper arm. And notice how this mutual pressure creates so much stability in this shape. Extend the left arm up or over the head, just like you did in a triangle a moment ago. Inhale, rotate your left shoulder out. Exhale, bring your left palm to your right foot. Twice more, inhale, rotate your left shoulder out. Exhale, left palm, right foot. Chin moves in. Once again, inhale and exhale. Great. Return your left hand to the floor. Draw the left toes back. Press your hands down. Extend the right leg up and back. So now either lower your toes down and find plank pose or keep your right leg lifted for plank, chaturanga. For your back bend, toes find the ground. And downward facing dog. We have the same long sequence waiting for us on the other side. Inhale, knees find the ground, cow pose. Exhale, draw the left foot out, step your right foot back, rotate your right shoulder out. Stay right here or lift your right foot, bend your right knee, search for the foot or ankle with the hand. Chest is spacious, breath is smooth. Release your right toes, right hand down. Even out your pelvis to the front side of the mat as you extend your left leg back and up. Exhale, step your left foot forward between your hands. And as you inhale, extend your left leg to the degree that the hamstrings agree with. Lift the chest a little higher. And as you exhale, walk your hands back, lowering the chest down. Inhale, walk your hands forward, bend your left knee, press your feet down, lifting the arms over the head. 
Left hand finds your right wrist, pull up, and over to the left. Oh, inhale, come up with your torso. Exhale, arms move out, around and down. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, frame your left foot with your hands. Turn all 10 toes to the left. Lift the hips a little higher, extend the left arm towards the ceiling, stay right here. Or look back, step your left toes behind your right leg or stack your legs or lift the left leg up. Continue pressing down through your right index fingers through the roots of the right index finger. One more breath. Ha, oh, return your left hand, left foot down, downward facing dog. And then three-legged version. Lift the left leg back and up. Exhale, step your left foot forward. Lower your right heel to the ground. Warrior two. Pause, breathe, settle into this shape. Reverse your warrior as you inhale, pause here for the exhalation. Come back to warrior two, and then walk your hands towards the long side of the mat again, keeping your left knee hovering above the heel. Extend both legs, walk your hands towards your mat, bend your right knee, sink down. Inhale, center, exhale, left knee bends. Travel across your mat twice more, once to the right. Once to the left. Turn your toes towards the front side of the mat. Walk your left hand in front of your left foot and slightly to the side. Moving into Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon Pose. So stay right here. Or just like you did in your kneeling variation, bend your right knee, search for your right foot or ankle with your hand, and then press your foot back so the heel moves away from the buttock. And if you want to try a balancing variation, maybe you guide your left hand to the heart center. Poet pose, very poetic. <laughs> All right, return your left hand down, step your right foot back, bring your right hand on the floor, and then heel to your left foot out to the side, so now your hands can be underneath your shoulders from your right toes, lean back and forth, back and forth. Now next time you're shifting the weight forward, pause, lower your right knee down, send your right foot in. Have your left hand either on the floor or blocked by your left inner foot and push your knee into the arm, arm into the knee. Oh, forgot something. Extend the right arm up. Now let's return the toes back for a moment. Extend your right leg. Extend your left leg. We do not want to forget our triangle position. <laughs> Lift the right arm up and over the head. Mm -hmm. Turning the gaze to the ceiling, letting the right shoulder blade kiss the spine. Maybe send the center of the pelvis forward a little more. Find another deep breath in. Ah, all right. Now let's bend that left knee. Bring the hands to the floor underneath the shoulders. Right knee finds the ground. Draw the right foot in. And let's come back to what we have paused for a moment. So extend the right arm over the head. Keep pushing your knee into the arm, arm into the knee. Inhale, rotate your right shoulder out a little more. And as you exhale, bring your right hand to your left foot. Draw the chin in. Couple more, inhale, rotate the shoulder out. Exhale, hand to foot, lower your chin in and down. One more time, inhale here, exhale, lower. All right, plant your right hand on the floor, turn your right toes back, lift the left leg back and up. So either keep your left leg lifted for plank and chaturanga or Lower your toes down. For your back bend, all 10 toes are on the floor. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Lower your knees to your mat, lift the chin, lift the tail. And as you exhale, come back to child's pose. This has become a tradition after we end a sequence. Just rest here for a few moments. Allow the momentum of the breath to slow down. Maybe guide your hips side to side. So we have some good news for you. For the next couple of moments, we'll stay closer to the floor. Find your way onto your hands and knees and step your right foot forward. Have your hands on the floor by your right inner foot. Pause here for a couple of breaths, exploring the left upper thigh, the right outer hip. Now send your pelvis back a little bit. Bend your right elbow and guide your right elbow down towards your right inner calf, maybe inner ankle. Now guide your elbow towards your belly and guide your elbow out to the side underneath your right leg. Now with your right hand, find your right outer foot and use the strength of your right arm as well as the core strength. I'm gonna turn my face too so you can see me a little bit better. Use the strength of the arm as well as the core strength to guide your right upper arm or shoulder underneath your knee and then lean forward to squeeze that right upper arm in between your calf and your hamstrings. Lean back and forth a few times just to familiarize yourself with these circumstances. All right, then release. Return your right hand to the floor. Step your left foot back. Maybe find child's pose for a few moments to take care of your wrists. And then return your hands to the floor and step your left foot forward. Leaning forward with your pelvis, leaning forward with your torso. Feel the lengthening in your right upper thigh, left outer hip. Now draw the pelvis back enough so you can have more space for your left elbow to move down your inner calf, inner ankle. Guide your elbow to the belly, guide your elbow to the side. Find your left outer ankle with your left hand. And with the strength of your arm as well as the core strength, guide your upper body down, guide your shoulder underneath your knee. Lean forward with your pelvis, squeeze your left upper arm, and then lean back. And twice more, forward and back. And one more time, forward and back. Great. Step your left foot back, find your child's pose. Maybe give your wrist some love, some attention as you move your hips side to side. All right, I have one more wave of standing asanas for us. Let's find cow pose as we inhale. Downward dog as we breathe out. Inhale, return your knees to the ground. Lift the chin, lift the tail. Exhale, right foot out, left foot back. Rotate the shoulder out. Maybe lift the left leg, catch your foot with the hand and press your foot back. As the heel moves away from the buttock, look up. Now this time, see if you can find your left big toe with the first three fingers of your left hand and draw your left foot out to the side. Look to the front side of the mat and step your left foot forward. Draw your right toes back. Right away, find your high lunge. Inhale here, exhale, open up to warrior two. Reverse your warrior as you inhale. Sink into it as you breathe out. Come back to warrior two. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Keep leaning forward with your torso in one big step or a few small ones. Find your Ardha Chandrasana. Bending the right knee. Maybe searching for the right foot with the right hand. Pressing the foot back. Maybe finding a balancing variation, bending the left knee ever so slightly as the left hand moves to the heart center. It's nice to practice near the couch or a wall so you can find support there. Return your left hand down, step your right foot back, 
Frame your left foot with your hands, lift your right heel, heel to your left foot out to the side. Plant your hands underneath your shoulders from your right foot, lean back and forth, back and forth. Next time you shift your weight forward, pause, lower your right knee down, send your hips back, extend your right, uh, your left leg. All right, bend your left knee, look around and see where your strap is. If you don't have a strap, no worries. If you do have a strap, fold it around your left foot and have your strap parallel to the front side of the mat. Now leave the strap B for now. Draw your right foot in towards the left side of the room. Bend your left elbow, guide your left elbow towards your inner ankle, towards your belly, towards your outer ankle. Now guide your shoulder underneath your knee. And maybe this is your practice today to move your upper arm or shoulder underneath the knee as you keep the chest spacious. Maybe you plant your left hand on the floor near your left outer foot. Then you find a strap with your right hand. You fold the strap around your hand, lift the left heel, maybe, and then begin to extend your left leg as you rotate your right shoulder out. The leg is pressing into the arm. The arm is pressing into the leg. Spiral the right side of the ribcage towards the ceiling. One more breath. Release. Left foot finds the floor. Now, either uh, step back to child's pose or take a peek uh, for those of us who didn't have a strap. So if you didn't have a strap, you could place your hand on top of your foot, leaning to the side, and then exploring that extension of the leg. You might not be able to extend the leg as fully as if the strap was in your hand. It's just another way to explore this pose. Find your child's pose. Move the hips side to side. Notice the difference between the right and the left sides of the body. One more standing sequence, an abbreviated one. Inhale, cow pose. Lift the chin, lift the tail. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, left foot out, right foot back. Rotate your right shoulder out. Stay here or lift the right foot. Bend your right knee and press your foot back. Now maybe you begin to search for your right big toe with your right hand and extend your right leg out to the side. Look to the front side of the mat. Bend your right knee and step your right foot forward. Send your left toes back. High lunge. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale here. Exhale, sink into it. Inhale, reverse. Pause here for the breath out. Come back to warrior two. Left hand finds your left hip as you move towards your Ardha Chandrasana half moon pose. Maybe you search for your left foot or ankle with your left hand pressing the foot back. Maybe you bend your right knee ever so slightly as the right hand finds your heart center. Poet pose for two more breaths. Wiggling, wobbling is part of it. Oh, then we turn your right hand down, step your left toes back, heel to your right foot out to the side so you can plant your hands underneath your shoulders. Leaning back and forth, back and forth, moving from your left foot. Next time you shift your weight forward, pause, lower your left knee down, draw your left foot in. So once again, if you have a strap, Find the strap, fold it around your right foot, and extend it uh, parallelly to the front side of the mat. Bend your right elbow, slide it down towards your inner ankle. Guide it towards the belly, guide it out to the side. Place your right hand on your right outer ankle, 
Move your upper arm or shoulder underneath the knee. And honestly, I have spent months and months just practicing here. Well, not just. This is quite a demanding position of the body. So we need time for creating space in the body. So stay right here or plant your right hand on the floor by your right outer foot. With the left hand, find the strap, fold it around your hand. Shift the weight towards your right side. So now your right heel can lift up, maybe. And maybe you start extending your leg as you rotate your left shoulder out. Take a peek to the ceiling from underneath your left upper arm. If you don't have a strap, maybe you search for the top of your right foot with the left hand. The next few steps are the same. Shift the weight to the right, lift the right heel, extending the leg to the degree that the hamstrings agree with. Release. Return your right foot down, send your left toes back. Step your right foot back for child's pose. Finding a deep breath in and slow breath out. With your next inhalation, press your knees to the ground, lift the hips above the knees, arms above the shoulders. Exhale, lower your hands forward and down. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here or find the last round of vinyasa for the practice. Link, Chaturanga, back bend. And as you return to Denver Dog, let's all transition to plank and lower all the way down onto your belly and rest your forehead on your hands. Guide your hips side to side, side to side. Come back to center. And then bring your elbows, bring your forearms to the ground. Have your elbows below your shoulders. Now press, uh, let's actually guide the hands in. So now your right forearm is in front of the left one. Begin to move your hands away from one another. We'll see how my microphone reacts to this one. Uh, move your hands out to the side. So now your upper arms cross. Press your chin into your right upper arm. So I'm going to demonstrate it for you this way so you can see me a little bit better. So this is the position of the arms as if you're lying down on your belly. The arms can be extended like this or bend your elbows and hug your shoulder blades or shoulders with your hands. During the practice today, we've done a lot of of external rotation of the shoulders. So now let's balance it out with the internal rotation. And next time you inhale, lift the chin and slowly, slowly untie your arms, place your hands underneath your shoulders and circle your shoulders a couple of times backward. Couple of times forward. And then return your elbows, your forearms to the floor. And this time have your left forearm in front of the right one. The same position for the arms. Walk your hands away from one another. Press your chin into your left upper arm. Maybe you bend your elbows and hug your shoulder blades or shoulders or upper arms with your hands. Great, lift the chin, release your hands to the floor. Keep your right arm as it is. Move your left hand by the left side of the mat, bend your knees, roll over onto your right hand side and then draw your knees towards your right upper arm. Open your left arm out to the side and just like this, we found our 
gentle twist. Turn your gaze to the left shoulder, left hand. Maybe bring your right hand over your left outer knee or thigh. Stay in here for a couple of breaths, allowing the shoulders soften towards the floor. Perhaps taking a moment to appreciate how free the inhalations are. There is nothing pressing into your chest, into your belly any longer. Oh, then slowly, slowly return your feet to the floor, roll over onto your back. Mm -hmm. Open your arms wide apart, lift your knees, lift your feet, and then guide your knees over to your left side, turn your gaze to the right, and maybe place your left hand over your right outer knee. We've done a lot of movement in the practice today. Pretty much the whole time we continued moving. But now we are back to stillness. Letting the belly dance freely as you breathe. Sharing three more breaths here in a gentle twist. And then let your knee go, return your feet to the ground, even out your pelvis, even out your back on the floor, and then give your knees a hug. Maybe you stay here, maybe you roll side to side, maybe you find happy baby pose. And if your inner thigh still needs some attention, you can extend your legs out to the sides in happy baby position. Then whenever you're ready, let your legs go. Extend your legs forward. Extend your arms over the head. So we'll close the practice today with Uddiyana Bandha abdominal lock. We will be hollowing out the belly, pulling the belly in on the bottom of the exhalation as we hold the breath. So first, interlace your fingers and turn your palms away from the crown of the head. Flex your feet and if possible, bring your legs together. Inhale here. Exhale slowly and completely. At the bottom of the exhalation, hold the breath. And as you hold the breath, pull your belly in, hollow out your belly. Let your belly go first, and then inhale. Try it a couple more times, and if you need a visual, take a peek. Inhale, exhale. And as you hold the breath, hollow out your belly. Let your belly go first. Inhale. And try it one more time, holding the breath for as long as you comfortably can. Let your belly go. Inhale. And release your arms to the floor by your sides. Have your legs a little bit wider than a hip distance apart. Let your toes turn out to the sides. If you haven't already, let your eyelids lower down. Return to your circular breath. Quiet yet audible smooth and continuous. And now let even that effort go. Now the breath is breathing itself. Allowing some time for yourself to just savor, just receive the wonderful benefits of the practice. 
With every breath out, the body softens. With every breath out, the mind releases tension. For the next couple of moments, just be here and now. Okay, yogis, allow your mind to return to your body through your breath. Feel the sensations of inhalations. Feel the sensations of your exhalations. Deepening the breath, slowing it down. And of course, if you prefer to stay in Shavasana for a little extra time, you can pause this video and stay on your back for as long as you would like to. Otherwise, begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, guide your chin side to side, and maybe a full body stretches on its way. And as you exhale, return your arms to the floor by your sides. Bend your knees, maybe give your knees a hug, a generous embrace. And then let your legs go and choose a side to roll onto, whichever side is calling you now. Pause there. With the help of your arms, begin your journey to your upright seat. Take your time. Take your time getting up. As you find your tall spine, connect your hands at the heart center. Perhaps returning to your circular breath. Noticing your current state of being now at the end of the practice. Find a deep breath in. Release. Thank you all for practicing together, for breathing together. Be well. Namaste.